Okay. Good evening to you all. Good evening, good evening, good evening. I greet you all, kings and queens, gods and goddesses. I greet you all. Tonight, I want to talk about dreams of seeing a snake or seeing a scorpion. When you see snakes and scorpions in your dream, I'll talk about the different scenarios and what it means for you as a person. So when you watch this video, when you see this video and when you see this video, you find out how it pertains to you. Something flew in here. You find out how it relates to you and how to answer questions you have on seeing snakes in your dream, seeing scorpions in your dream. I know it can be disturbing for a lot of people, but let's look at the different scenarios. Before I go ahead, I remain why I met you up to my mm -hmm. as a wine in literature. And my phone number is remains plus two three four seven zero three zero five seven zero five zero six. So let's get into the business of the day. If you're joining me, please do not forget to share this video. I told those on Facebook every month someone is going to take something home. Someone that shares my videos very well. Because when you're sharing my video, you're helping me to pass information to someone who might need it to people who might need it and it's not easy to subscribe and be watching somebody's video even the ones meant for you and the ones that are not meant for you i'm still helping to reach other people mm -hmm. everything works together all right so if you're seeing snakes in your dream in a lot of a four Nandro, it can mean different things depending on what's played out. Now, if a snake is pursuing you in your dream, maybe a python. Most times it's a python or a very huge snake. Now let's look at this. In the dream, in the spiritual world, there are good snakes and there are bad snakes. Everything is in duality. Everything is in duality. There are times that if you're a water person and an earthling, you have connection to the earth, you have connection to the water, you will definitely be seeing snakes. You will have encounter with snakes because it goes both ways. You have snakes that live in the water, you have snakes that live on land. And from time immemorial, Snake is a symbol of healing, ancient medicine and knowledge. When you look at the symbol, when you look at the symbol in the hospital, which is fashioned by Patlock, when you look at the symbols in the hospital, you will see that the health organization symbol, you have something like a, a staff, you have something like a staff or a cross, and then there is snake around it. One for one, there is just one snake. So you will see two snakes around it. You will see that from time immemorial, snakes are recognized to be to have spirits of healing, it's associated with healing. While a snake can bite you and put the poison, the venom in your body that can kill you, that same venom can be extracted and used in healing medicines. Snakes are very wise animal. They think they think very fast. Greetings, Sophia Andrew. They think very fast. You will think you are fast. But those 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 creatures, they are wise. They are fast, wise as fast. You will you won't even know they are coming for you until they strike. Now having Put this animal in two places, both land and water. Having put it in two places, 
Now let's look at it. As an earth being, as a water being, both places it possess the spirit of healing. And also as a water creature. Eke, also being an emissary. Python, which is a type of snake, is an emissary of the mother goddess. Whether you're talking about the water goddess, the mothers in the waters, or the mothers on land, we are still talking about the same being manifesting in different ways. I'm talking about Eke Waviao or Eke Wamirio, we are still talking about the same thing. Now, when you're a water person, you're likely to encounter, see yourself being pursued by snakes. Especially when you're not properly aligned. When, you're not make, when you've not made peace with them, you will see them greetings goody. You will see them pursuing you in your dream, pursuing you in different places. You're always fighting with snakes. That, that is more like you're fighting with yourself. You're fighting with yourself. You're constantly in a war with self. And if you don't make peace, you continue to see yourself, you continue fighting with a snake in your dream. But when you see yourself aligning, when you start aligning, those snakes are going to come, but they are not coming to fight you. They will come and greet you. They will come. They will initiate friendship with you. They want to be your friend. They pay homage to you. They come to you bearing gifts or different things. There has been a while. They come bearing gifts and different things. And while you are being activated, you also have this feeling, the snake. Because human beings, we have a relationship with snake. We are still the serpentines, the, the, the serpentine energy in us. When you look at the spinal column, the vertebra column, your spinal column, it looks like a snake. By default, when you look at a baby in the womb, you will see that this child has a tail. Towards the end of the spinal cord, by the time they are fully developed, it disappears. It blends into every area of the body. Same way when you see a baby boy inside the womb, maybe a few months and all that, they're still looking like a girl. Their first manifestation is the female energy. That's why you can't tell the sex at that age because all you'll be seeing is a girl. Until maybe like around five, six months, you'll now start seeing, okay, this is a boy. By then, the organs are fully developed. That is the same way you see something like a tail towards the end. Now, if you did biology in school and you see the spermatozoa structure of a man, it looks like a snake. The form, you see the head, looks like a snake. The closest you can see physically in an animal is a tadpole. The egg of a frog. When it is the when it's still at that third pole stage, you see it looking like those sperm cells that you see under the microscope that looks like a snake. So you see that this relationship is deeper than you think. Greetings to you, Chica, Benjamin, Tandy Way. You see it's that it looks like a snake, not the cargo. The vertebra column. Now, when you look at that story in the Bible that is talking about um, um, how snakes were sent to kill the children of Israelites because they kept food over the night, something like that, and poison snakes were biting them, and then God now told Moses to hang a snake on the cross, and whoever looks up to it will be healed. It's this, the same snake that beats them, it's the same snake healing them. Coming back to what I said in the beginning. This same snake will bite you, puts the venom inside you, and people still catch snake to have this venom to use in medicine to cure certain ailments. Now, when it is pursuing you, when it is pursuing you, 
is because you are not at peace. That is one. You need to make peace. When you make peace, when you align yourself, then you see them coming to pay homage. You see them coming to greet you. You see them coming to be your friend. You see them wanting to have a good relationship with you. You see them bringing you gifts. You start activating your kundalini energy. Before I sleep, in fact, every day, I have it, I feel it crawl in my back, up. It shows I'm growing. Till it reaches the apex, the ladder. How many vertebra column do you have? I suppose 33. That is the apex. When you reach your God self, when you become a God that you are, when you get to where you're supposed to be, in the spirits, the highest level of consciousness. That is the ladder that some uh, um, in, 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 in Jacob's dream, some angels were climbing, and then when he woke up, he, he put a stone, he named that place better, and said, truly, God is here. The ladder. The ladder typically, most times, has 33. A standard ladder. It depicts it was mimicking the vertebra column, the spinal column. Because the movement is just like a snake. That is what holds you together. Because anybody will get issue with spinal cord, you cannot walk again with that. You cannot be able to walk. You won't be able to move. It helps you twist and bend both ways. Now you see you have so much, so many relationships with this animal that you hate so much. Now let's look at it in another light. There are the bad ones. There are times that the enemies tend to attack you with snakes. When you see snakes in your dream, attacking you, and you know deep down that you are not in conflict with any of your spiritual family. You are not in conflict with Ajani. You are not in conflict with your water people. You are not in conflict with your Ndio too. And a snake is attacking you. That means someone is trying to attack you. You are permitted to kill those ones in the spirit. Greetings official rooms. You are permitted to kill those ones in the spirit. And when, and again, it also depends on the color of the snake. If the snake attacking you in your dream is green, after you find out that you, you're okay, you don't have any problem with any spirits, that means it is someone close to you. Someone camouflaging as a friend. Green snake on green grass. Someone that is envious. Someone that is camouflaging, pretending to be your friend. That every information you are giving this person, they are turning it, in, turning it into a weapon against you. You know, sometimes they can be doing all those things to you, but they are not even going anywhere to do it. They become an evil serpent because they have the serpentine energy inside them. The evil serpent in your life. You're telling this person, hey, I'm about to build a house. Oh, and it's inside their house, they are like, hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be alone. This person is not going to first me build a house. This person is not going to first me do this one. Cannot work. All of us will remain in this condition. This person cannot prosper, succeed, etc. I have to succeed first. I have to be better than this person. You don't know that these ones are actually not happy with you. Yes, it is growing. You don't know that this you don't know that this person is actually fighting you. Okay, great. The black ones I see are always attacked from an enemy. Yes. You don't know that this person does not they are using the negative energy inside them to stop something that is about to happen. They don't need to go to anything else to do it. The energy inside human being. Hmm? You don't need to do anything. Think about it that somebody wants to do a negative this thing on you. A negative orgo. Negative juju on you. And they go to buy maybe something as simple as a bed. 
um, snake, frog, bats, or different things they catch us to do. Imagine these are lower animals. Imagine a higher being, someone higher than those animals. Not only more beyond our wall again, say. They are inside there, they are wishing you if we just going to happen because it's a higher a higher energy. Most of the times, people that are attacking you, they don't need to go to anywhere to do anything to you. All they need to do is to hate you, have enough passion, enough fuel to fuel that passion of hate that they feel for you, to fuel that passion that they need to see you on the ground. Oh, Avery, first time you saw my video, it was uh, that should be in 2021. So imagine that person has enough passion to be able to do this to you. You can see them manifesting in your dream as a green snake. And if it's someone you don't know, it can come as a black snake or any other color. But whenever it is a green snake attacking you, naturally, in the natural habitat, a green snake does not attack. It stays on its own until you come for it. But we use the, the green snake is being represented spiritually for you to know that this person is someone that blends sin with you. Someone that you feel like, oh, I'm safe around this person. We are good. We are friends. I denama oyim. Ingo they do you strong thing. And you'll be there. Blood. My brother. My sister. And then they are dealing with you. No sympathy. No mercy. Negative spirits can also come as snakes or scorpions to sting you. Scorpion also has serious health, connection to health. If you know, like, the, the most expensive liquid in the whole world is a scorpion's venom. The most expensive liquid is a scorpion's venom. Very costly. You can check it on Google. They use it in medicine. But this same liquid, you go use it and sting you, you go one die. The enemies can use scorpion, can use snakes to also attack you. Either way, one thing you should make sure of is that you are in good terms with your forces. So that they can always fight battles you don't know about for you. So they can always fight your hidden battles for you. You don't need to remind them. Because before the enemy moves, they are always 100 steps ahead. Put things in your way to make, make sure that it doesn't work the way they planned it. Greetings, Katol, Army Divinity, Sean Milton, greetings. That is why you need to be very careful. You need to keep certain things to yourself. Greetings to poor Augustina. You need to keep certain things to yourself. Not be everything you could share. Sometimes we overshare and we harm ourselves. So if you are not in good terms and you are always fighting, <coughs> find out whether it's an attack or you are the one that is not in good terms with your spiritual family. When I was still not in good terms, I was always fighting with snakes. In my dream, I'm always fighting with them. And whenever I succeed in killing one, something in me, something spoils for me. Because I'm doing it to myself. I'm fighting myself. I'm at war with myself. Serpent in me is waking up, it's growing somewhere close to my chest. I feel its head every day. 
For some people, they feel it on their waists. For some people, you feel it around your legs. For some people, around your arm. At different times. When you awaken the mama energy. What if you see snake in dream and they're about to greet you? That is because you're in good terms. They are paying homage. They are respecting you. Like I said, they are emissaries of the mother goddess. Now let me tell you something about the snakes. They are not, they are not name me themselves. They are emissaries, more like servants to the mother goddess. Even though sometimes you can decide to appear as such. That is why you can comfortably call her Ojeke Mere Jigida. Most times the mothers appear, you see them wearing python on their waists, like waist bead. The one who wears the skirt of the seven rivers. Thank you so much, Queen Jojo. Thank you so much for the gifts. May the universe replenish you. Thank you, Aya Jeffe. So this is something that you need to understand. Stop fighting. That's more like you overcoming your enemy. So you stop fighting yourself because a, a, a kingdom that is divided against itself cannot stand trying to make peace. Sometimes after seeing these snakes in your dream when you've made peace, a new knowledge is deposited. If you're a healer, if you're a gifted healer, you'll be seeing snakes. It's part of your work. It's part of your um, familiar. It's part of the spiritual animal attached to you because of what they stand for. Their spiritual connotation. That is why you'll be seeing it. Because snakes are associated with healing. So you better be at peace with it. Help me and share this video. Especially those on Facebook. Help me and share. You better be at peace with it. With yourself. It's a part of you. It's presence in all of us. It's presence in all, all of us. Greetings for the womb. Present in every living being. That's why some of you lie too much. <coughs> because it can be deceitful. That is why even your Bible, when it wants to talk about knowledge, it, it talks about snake. Why were they, why did, why did they have to connote Satan as a serpent that came to deceive the woman? And when you look at the Bible, you find that this snake did not actually deceive the woman. Instead, he helped this woman unravel the knowledge that is already inside of her. Now let's analyze what happened to Adam and Eve. Between Eve and the serpent in the Garden of Eden. There was nothing new the serpents brought. It only helps, it only activated what's already in there. First of all, it was the question was more like, did God ask you not to eat? Which fruits did, did they not ask you to eat? And she said, the one in the middle, the three in the middle. And he said, okay, if you eat it, what will happen? And she said, he said, um, that God said, if they eat the fruit, they are going to die. He said, eh, hey, why well, eat it? That you only have, you are not going to die, you only have knowledge of good and evil. And she ate it. 
Did she die? She did not die. When you look at it, it's not even the god. Kukunain, Kukulai. To this person. But the god gone go, because God already have the knowledge of good and evil. Nain Kukulai to this woman. So the moment she, the only thing she, she realized she was naked and she needed to put on clothes. She didn't die. Oh, you didn't lie. Well, well, you, you, you're a king of liar, but liar. Well done. Well done, I greet you. But you don't have to let that part of you overcome you. There is balance in everything. It's just like naturally, we humans, we are selfish. But we just try to overcome that part of you that is always selfish. Think about others. Balance is everything. Put yourself. Balance. Ask yourself. What is that thing that somebody will do to me and I will not like it? And you decide, okay, see, so if somebody does this to me, I won't like it. I won't do it to another person. That way, you're one step away from overcoming, overcoming your selfish nature and be able to reason like a human being. A snake trying to draw you inside the water. That is your spiritual family. Water spirit is trying to bring you closer. Trying to bring you closer. But if it is a python that is pursuing you, for all pythons, then know you, are, you have issues with Ajani and the waters. Miri and Ajani. The oceans, the waters, and the earth spirits. If it is a python, there's no middle ground with that one. They know they find trouble. They know they look for trouble. They're always on their own. So if it is pursuing you, then there's problem in primary 4A. You need to start making peace. Snake wrapping your body. That is you embracing yourself. Is it harming you? It's just calming you. It's snake, that means you people are friends. Don't fight it. Which is joy you gonna work? Don't fight it. You need to make peace grow. Growth. Very important. On the Okemba. Growth. Very important aspect of your being. Growth. Uto. Uto. So if you have any question about snakes, pythons, you drop them, I will take them. I'm wrapping up this video. Any question on snakes, python, drop it and I'll wrap it up for you. And I say, what person, please avoid any charm, anything they are going to do for you. Using snake, using python, avoid all war on edge, war when I wall of it. Somebody wants to do work for you and they say they will use snake or they will use python. Please run. That is the fastest way to buy yourself. Run. Fastest way to heal yourself. Agreeing to such kind of work. Run. You were beaten by a... That's not a good thing. That's an attack and it got to you. You need to cleanse yourself. And purge yourself of whatever it is, the venom that was deposited in your life. You need to purge yourself of that. Cleansing yourself and doing banishing. Banishing every negative energy, every negative spirit around you. That is what you need to do. Your stepbrothers playing with snakes. It could mean two things. It could mean two things. Either your stepbrothers are water people. Or connected to the land or they are dealing with people that can actually harm them it's in two ways
Blessing, that is not a work you're going to do by yourself. You need to meet someone to help you with that. You need to meet someone to help you with that. Then Kato Emmanuel, try to make sure you are at peace with your forces. Make sure you are at peace with them. Again, ask yourself what kind of snakes are pursuing you. Make sure you are at peace with your forces. Recommend someone for you. I can do the work, but if you have someone that you trust that can do it for you, please go ahead. Tell the person what happened. Tell the person what I said. They will know the best way to follow you up. You saw your husband carrying two pythons on his shoulder. That means your husband will be a small person. He's a man of power. Especially with the marine. Alright, so I'm going to end this video. You are not alone. They're usually around. That's why you feel her. Benjamin Robinson. I'm currently in Enugu, but I reside in Lagos. Currently in Enugu. That means your forces came with that animal and you didn't recognize them. They, they now changed to the form you're going to recognize, which is the colorful snake. All right, I'm ending this video right now. You all have a good night. Can I say I'm okay? Brown python in your dream with your other wife. That could be her spiritual spouse manifesting as a python or her water family it goes to show where she belongs to have a good night